going to give you a brief uh, tutorial here on how I would recommend sizing and saving your images for photo guild competitions. And what I have here is a TIFF file that uh, I have worked on, and cropped, and done all sorts of things, uh, including the HDR effect. And we presently have a file of almost 28 megabytes. And the first thing I would like to do is go up to the image dialog box, click on that, and come down to image size. And this will open up our image size window. And we see that our image right now is 2,506 pixels wide by 1,948 pixels high. What I want to do is I want to change this to 1,024 pixels on the width. Now, we see that in this particular case, my image exceeds the 768 pixel height as our maximum. So in this case, I'm going to change this to 768 and the width will fall automatically into line. Now, do not be concerned with document size because this relates to final prints only. So we've resized this image and we're going to click on OK and it will be resized to that new dimension. And come over here to our little hand tool, double click on the hand tool, and the image returns back to the screen at full size. Take note, down here at the bottom, we see that our document is now 4.34 megabytes in file size. Now that I've gotten to this point, I want to go up to File, click on File, and come down to Save for Web and Devices. Now this feature has been in Photoshop ever since uh, CS2, so that uh, goes back a few years. So if you're using Photoshop CS2 or CS3, you'll have this same feature in yours. What I would like to do is just down here at the bottom where you see the zoom level indicated, I want to fit uh, in the view and we see both of our images now. Uh, over here we have image size at 988 pixels wide, 768 pixels high. Make sure that we have the checkbox to convert image colors to the sRGB color space. This is important because the uh, Guild projector uh, is profiled for that and the sRGB is the preferred color space uh, for our projected images. If we go up here to this little dialog here, it says Optimized Menu, click on that and we open up a uh, box that says Optimize to File Size. Now, we could change this to any number that we choose if we wanted 150 kilobyte file size or 500 or, or whatever, but in the case for our use we have a maximum desired file size of 350 kilobytes. So by clicking on OK, the program recalculates the size of the image, and now we have an image, as we see, that is less than 350 kilobytes in file size. Uh, it would take approximately five seconds with a 768 kilobyte uh, per second uh, DSL line to, uh, to download. So once that's done, I can go and click on Save and what I have done for saving my images, I've created a file on my desktop and it's titled Guild EID Images. Now, in the case of this particular image, I had saved one already, but what I'm going to do is re 
save this particular file. And what I've done uh, in this case, uh, I have my last name first with either a space or an underscore and B for my first initial, a space or underscore with GC, which is the short for general color. Uh, if this was going to be saved as a creative color, I may put in the CC, which is the designation for creative color. So maybe in this case, I'll save it as a creative image because uh, it, it is a little unusual and it, uh, uh, it would be a creative image. So what I will do is just click on the save and that particular image will be saved to the file and once that operation is completed we go back to the main menu uh, back to our original image. Now that particular image is stored in that file and when I send an email I will attach that image to the email and let's uh, do something here right now. Okay, this is a continuation of the tutorial on submitted images for club competition and what I have displayed on the screen now is my AT&T email uh, window. And what I'm going to do is just type in my name here and it will bring up my address and we come down to subject and I'm going to call this EID entries and then come down to attach files. Now in the last video I indicated that I was going to save these images in a folder on my desktop. So on my desktop I have this folder and it is going to be called Guild EID Images. I click on that, opens the file, and here is the image of Bannock HDR and it is the general color, but I want to use the creative color which is the CC so I'll click open the document is set in the file I click on attach files and the software will load the image and it will take us back to the main screen once the image is loaded here we are there's the attachment Bannock HDR CC. So what I want to do in the body of the email is I'm going to type in attached find EID image for creative. And what I'll do is I will put down Buchanan underscore B underscore CC underscore again Bannock HDR dot JPEG and we can type in JPG that's the designation once that's done, all I have to do is send the file or I can attach more images to this, but every time I attach an image, I want to add the title of the file, which in this case, for this example, uh, is the creative color of the Bannock HDR. Once this is all done, ready to go, just click send and the image is on the way. Generally, I will acknowledge receipt of the images and here I have confirmation that uh, indicates that the message has been sent. So that uh, is really the process uh, in two, uh, two simple tutorials. 
Uh, again, I hope this helps you. If you do have questions, please do not hesitate to contact me via email or you may telephone me. My cell phone number is area code 313 689-1942 that's 313-689-1942 or you can call my home phone which is area code 586-566-8823 once again 586-566-8823 thanks again